You know, having your life and you petting it, like I said, you're like, ah, uh, I think the law will be okay with this one. Hmm? Seriously? I think the law will be okay if I just, uh, did I not tell you this? I, the Holy Spirit is really exposing me tonight. <laughs> I used to take my husband's money. <laughs> I used to, I used to take, <laughs> I used to take my husband's money. Notice I said take. Then I didn't know it was stealing. Somebody's being held. I don't know why the Holy Spirit is doing it, but it's for somebody because there's no shame in my game. I used to take, go to his bike, and I would need some money. I would take, I would say, it's his, it's mine. Am I not correct, wives? It's his, it's mine. So I would take the money and say, well, it's his, it's mine. The Holy Spirit taught me one day. So I, I was doing this for a while and nothing was happening. So I figured, well, it's yours, it's mine. I can keep doing it. <laughs> The Holy Spirit said, you know you're stealing though, right? I said, what? But is my husband money? Is mine? Are we not one? Two is one? How come it's now his? <laughs> no, you guys not serious. You guys not serious. I got stuck in my track from stealing my husband's money. Cut that and put it on YouTube. I was stealing his money, going to his purse. Sometimes I would watch him there with his eyes closed deliberately. <laughs> Until the Holy Spirit stopped me. The Holy Spirit was like, the fact that you're watching his eyes closed, what do you think you're doing? You're thieving. <laughs> you're stealing now. You don't understand. Why would the Holy Spirit tell me, that means somebody in here taking the husband's money. <laughs> Somebody in here taking and you need to stop it. Somebody here going in somebody's purse and you need to stop it. Somebody wallet or swiping somebody's credit card or debit card. You need to stop it. The Holy Spirit stopped me in my tracks. What you are doing, you're stealing. And I will look in his face. Oh, you're sleeping so I can't ask you. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I would say he's sleeping, I can't ask him, but I could literally touch him and wake him up. But I'm like, oh, he's sleeping. I, I can't ask you, go through. I don't want the 20 or the 50. I like hundreds. The Holy Spirit said, oh yeah? I, you did it once, I said nothing. You did it twice, I figured that you would get some revelation. You did it three times. You laughing too much for me. So I know you must be doing it. You did it four times, nothing. You did it five times, nothing. How long must I let you continue in this continuous sin? He stopped me. He stopped me. Director Shaq, you know it's true. <laughs> you know. <laughs> he stopped me. Huh? <laughs> she knows it's true because I told her. <laughs> and I would take that money, spend that money, and be like, well, it's for the whole soul. <laughs> Or a boy, why if I want to add something for him? I say, well, I bought something for him too. <laughs> I don't think you understand. I don't think you get it. The Holy Spirit said, oh yeah? No, you think that that's right. Did you ask him? The fact that it's always or not, the Holy Spirit saying you didn't ask him, you was asking, you're looking in the man's face like this. He's sleeping, no, I can't ask. <laughs> and then you open it, the zipper for the wallet real slow. <laughs> you don't want to wake him up then. It means you don't want to disturb him deliberately. <laughs> and here's the thing. Anybody that knows my husband, there's nothing too good for me to get. 
There's nothing. He would tell me, go in my purse, uh, have my purse, take my credit card, do this, do that. Because he trusts me. But there was just this little joy I used to get from doing it. <laughs> I just used to enjoy coming down the stairs and going in it and taking it. Away. I don't know. But the Lord stopped me. So somebody, you're watching online, you heard me, you need to stop. I'm, I, I haven't forgotten about you in here, you know. <laughs> you need to stop. You need to stop. Amen? I stopped. This was a long time, guys. This is no yesterday thing, you know. But I stopped. The Holy Spirit stopped me. At any time, the desire come up. I was like, mm-mm. The Lord said, I steal it. <laughs> so you know, you have to kill the flesh. You have to kill the flesh. So when that little desire pop up, go and take some hundreds of dollars. You, you, you saw some $500 bills? Go and take I got beat that flesh. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. That's a thief in. Your thief, your thief in. Stop it. I have to beat it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it's not like he's saying no. So you guys don't understand the flesh. Dr. Thomas told us about that. And I was smiling to my I said, I know that very well. You got to beat that thing into submission. And I'm no thief, but actually I was. I mean, no, no, I don't think you guys get it. Some of you will never be able to say that, what he just said. No, some of you won't be able to say that. I literally said it, but then I had to pause because really, I, I was because the Holy Spirit would let me know that was stealing. <laughs> so we got to get rid of that.